Woo! I thought that was going to be ugly there for a second. Oh my gosh, they she got to get in here now. How, how am I going to get in it? You got to scoot up. I, I Sit on a telephone book. No. <laughs> no, you need to fix it or turn it or something. Uh, I can't fix it. Oh, you had it down on that last time, I think. You pulled it off somehow. Yeah. No, that would be too low. Man. Because this has always worked. No, no. All right, y'all, come on. We got to get situated right quick. We're going to break into some breaking news for you guys. Hot off the presses news. This article came out on this month, March 2024. Okay? I'm going to give you guys a little synopsis real quick. And I came home and I showed Stacy this article, and I want you guys to know. That we care about you guys and they're sneaking stuff into the food system and if you're not paying attention it could be it could be the reason why you have a lot of sicknesses and stuff that you really don't need to be having right like if you probably eliminated some of this stuff out of your diet <laughs> you actually might feel a lot better for it okay but this article basically says 90 percent of u.s cheese contains gmo made by pfizer you know who Pfizer is, y'all? Pfizer, the drug company. Here we go. Gosh, it's almost hard to read to you guys because it's just disgusting. Rennet is used as a clotting agent to curdle the milk into cheese, separating the liquid parts from milk and the solids. Pfizer makes a genetically modified rennet, but because of labeling modif or labeling loopholes, Cheese containing Pfizer's rennet does not have to be labeled as containing a genetically modified organism. Okay? So I came home and dropped this on Stacy. And also, we won't get into the microplastics, especially if you're buying the sliced cheese and slices and everything. But the microplastics are off the chain. So I came home and I showed Stacy this article. And then we spent the afternoon, like, digging into y'all's cheese and the cheese we even eat that we even thought. <laughs> was good and we're going to share all this information with you guys in the next 30 40 minutes so don't go anywhere and maybe your job will hit the ground again and maybe you'll just keep understanding that we're just trying to warn you and trying to help you out so you can you know it's easy up front if you guys stop collaborate and listen read the ingredients so you know what's missing real food from the food that you eat it's really bad that's the word on the street. I just made that up right off the hands here. All right, here we go. Well, when you look at a lot of these things that they're putting in our food, they say that it's grass, G-R-A-S, uh, generally recommended as safe. Yes. So it's like, you know, it could be like 46% of something and they don't have to, you know, label it or tell what's in it and all that. And on a lot of the cheeses, they they are changing a lot of these things so when you look at the rennet like he was saying is what helps to curdle the cheese so there's four types of rennet that you can use to make cheese so let's look at the very first one that has been the oldest form of rennet ever used right. um and it's animal rennet and right. usually a lot of times they'll use it from lamb they'll use it from um a bovine or from a cow and it's like part of the intestines and that's what helps it to do that curdling process. The animal rennet is what's going to make the most tasty cheese animal and it's rennet. also that's going to make it um, last longest. You know, it's not going to mold as quick. It's heartier. It's just a better cheese overall. And I guess over these past years, you know, a lot more people are becoming vegan and all that. And people are really <laughs> getting... Torah observant. Hold on. We're going to tell you about it. Um, and so when when they're you know you know they're talking to people wanting to know what's in the cheese what's in the cheese because a lot of vegans or or vegetarians will be eating certain types of cheeses if it's got animal run in it they're not going to eat it so a lot of these companies that had always traditionally used animal rennet in their cheeses now are switching over to a different type of rennet and which is the second one i want to talk about which is like a vegetarian type rennet and they're going to use something like there's nettles, fig bark. There's different things you can use. But traditionally, when you use a, like a vegetarian type rennet, it has a bitter taste. It's not quite as good. So a lot of times if it might say like vegetarian rennet, it may be the next one I want to talk about, which is the microbial rennet, which they're going to use different, you know, fungus and bacteria to make um, a rennet 
so it will coagulate and curdle the stuff you know when we're making the cheese however you have to feed that guess what they feed it when you read on your labels if a lot of you guys look at your cheese it might say microbial enzymes or microbial rennet hold on leave a comment let's see a comment real quick she's going to pause for five seconds we're going to do a <laughs> you little you know what they feed your microbial what, enzymes what do with? they feed the microbial enzymes with you got four or five seconds to drop your thing. Dee, 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 Oh, candy cane. She got it. No, cute. Soy. Yes, it's soy. And most of soy is genetically modified. It's gross. So then there's that, okay? Now, here's the last one that we're talking about where 90% of the U.S. cheese contains GMO made rennet by Pfizer. I'm going to make sure I'm writing We have a lot of notes here. <laughs> so. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. You know, we just want full disclosure. We, Me and Stacy have actually been involved with label fighting and stuff. We know uh, Rachel Parent who works uh, with uh, label, you know, making sure we can get labels on our food so we know what's in it. What's the name of her gig? Uh, Rachel's. It, 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 oh, shoot. For the kids. Yeah. Um, and she does the GMO stuff. Yes. And we also hang in with the Food Babe, who also does a lot of articles about the... Not the Food Babe. Yeah, we know her from... No, not Food Babe. No. Who? Your, um, uh... Come on. Zen. Honey Zen. Cut. Yes, honey... What is that? <laughs> you don't look like a deer in the headlights here. I know. What's her thing called? Well, uh, help me out, you guys. What's Zen doing? If anyone knows. Zen. What is her... What is her thing? I'm totally... We've been driving all day. I'm, like, not thinking right now. Come on, I just saw her the other day, too. She was talking about uh, some food. Uh, I'm not, I'm in a, like, different, I'm trying, I was shoot. looking for something else. And Robert Kennedy, we've been on stage with him talking about this stuff. He ha handles the Children's Defense Fund. He puts out a lot of food, uh, food articles, too. Glyphosate, all the things, and Cheerios, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so. Let's talk about the last way we have rennet, which is what we want to talk about, which is the GMO made kind of rennet. And they call it FPC. And that stands for. Don't, I gotta hey, don't let me it. tell you what it stands for. Yeah, I just lost it. Come on, where's your nose? Where's my FPC? I had so. We were driving and I'm bouncing around. And I'm trying to find it. I dropped this on her today, man. I was like, man, I have this article I haven't really told you about. But <laughs> I'm telling going you crazy. the Pfizer is making the rennet for the cheese and other stuff that requires it. And a lot of people just slough it off. I was reading some of the responses to it. And they were sloughing it off just saying, yeah, rennet's just a natural thing that occurs and blah, blah, blah. That's true, but that's not what they're doing. They're actually using a GMO modified version of it that they're making in the lab. They have these food scientists. I have a lot of stuff, man. I could, there's so many information out there. My people perish from a lack of knowledge. And if you seek, you shall find. But they are on record saying like, you don't really need strawberries or bananas or oranges because we can basically make a chemical that tastes like that. And then we don't have to have the trucking and the picking and the people in the field. <laughs> so they just want us to have chemical everything. It's disgusting, man. All right. Yes. Okay. And you guys, if you are on my email list, make sure you're on the email list. They're actually, uh, I don't know if this is on purpose or what. I have no idea, but they moved my emails to privately to you guys that we communicate one-on-one -on -one with. I'll leave a link here if you want to get on there. And they actually, uh, on most people that receive the email, they put it in their spam folder and they told them not to open it. And they even said this is has even been used to scam people. They literally said that in the email. Oh, I can't show you guys. But they did do that. And I will show you guys. And... All the links that were in that video, they said there were some bad links in there, but all the links that were in that video were actually just Google videos, like YouTube videos. I was just making sure everyone was getting the videos because it seems like we're getting a little bit of a, you know, problem with subscribers and people actually getting notifications, you know, just the same old story if you ever 
been around YouTube. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you guys this thing I'm going to do here. If I can find it right so while you're looking, I'll just say, so we're talking about the rennet, which is the GMO. It's, uh, it's used as a clotting agent. Because of the loophole, cheese containing Pfizer's rennet does not have to be labeled containing GMO organisms. Um, and so it is basically they Look at this. Oh, that's on your thing. Yeah. So it's like sends them this big message, freaks everybody out. Like, how would you like it if you got this message? You'd be like, Oh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to open that. I mean, I know it's Doug and all, but gee whiz, that looks pretty <laughs> cool, boy. You know what I mean? So just don't just don't fall for it. I said on Twitter here, what if they're starting the next shadow ban where they just quietly start etching us off of our email lists and ways to communicate with you? Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. you just that. forget. Like, you guys get busy, they move you on to somebody else, and it's just like a year or two later, you'd be like, I wonder whatever happened to that Doug and Stacy. <laughs> Okay, so Deborah, she did, yeah. So FPC, FPC stands for fermentation produced chymosin. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so this FPC, okay, the fermentation produced chymosin is created by Pfizer and it's made possible by the use of the CRISPR gene editing technology. And this came about in the 1980s. When the U.S. Supreme Court, Court so U.S. Come on, Supreme come on now, Court, slow down, slow down. Now, the I know it's Supreme exciting. Supreme Court, by five to four voted, ruled that new life forms can be patented. New life forms can be patented, and that's why the conspiracy theory is that they wanted to get that thing into you because it changes your DNA, which then makes you not the original DNA specimen that you were, so then they can do what they want to do. That's another thing on the street. I've heard it way before. And look how we connect some dots right here real time. So the FDA, Thumbs up. So what I was saying earlier, the FDA says it's 43% of your food additives are designated grass, generally recommended as safe, and don't get FDA oversight. So on the labels, it'll say microbial rennet or vegetable source, and it doesn't have to be required what it, you know, what it is. So, you know, you don't know. So generally, you know, you want the animal rennet. Um, some of them don't say it. So here's the trick for a lot of us. You know, you can get online and you can ask questions and you can find out if your cheese is okay. But if it if it says enzymes, like let me show you. We have some examples this evening. This is a cheese and there's a, this, this, it's called Car Valley, C-A-R-R, -R, Car Valley. They have a bunch of different cheeses. This is made from sheep. There's a whole bunch of varieties and they sell this at Aldi. I love these cheeses. They're absolutely amazing. Um, these is pasteurized culture, sheep's milk, salt, and enzymes. So it's a family farm in Wisconsin, and these cheeses are pretty cool. Generally, pretty much when it says enzymes, it's going to be an animal rennet. Okay. Um, let's see. Look at this one. Kirkland brand. This is the Kirkland signature brand. There's feta. All right. So when you read the labels, this is this is just a big chunk of feta in a brine. So it says it's the, or, the organic sheep's milk, salt, rennet, uh, milk, you know, that's what it is. It has milk in it. So this one's okay. The I think when I was reading from Costco, there was two of their cheeses that did not, that were just animal rennet. And I think it was this feta one and their uh, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Um, I think it comes like in a plastic thing with a black lid. Um, I think those were the two. They might have had more. Oh, and Manchego. Manchego was another one. The Manchego. If you guys like Manchego cheese, I love Manchego cheese. It's a cheap cheese generally from Spain. It's a hard cheese. When you look at a lot of these harder cheeses, they're going to be, you know, pretty good. Um, your Parmesan cheeses, your Romano cheeses. Um, I have a list of the cheeses that are generally pretty good. So you have the Guayer. Um, there's no additives, fillers. You know that's all animal stuff. And as, even if you guys don't know, the Guayer cheese is is free from all gluten. Also, the Emmenthaler, the Emmenthaler. I don't know. Is that how you say that one? The Picurino, the Romano cheese, um, Parmesan, uh, Gorgonzola, and here's some other one like Grana, Padano, Vacherin. Camembert, some different ones. These are ones that are made the Manchego, 
you, you can find a lot of these, and especially you can find Manchego and all these at, at, the, at the stores. Um, you just got to read your labels. And a lot of them you thought the microbial enzymes were okay, but remember, they're feeding them with soy, and I was freaking out. Now, here's the one. I a lot told of you, you guys, she was freaking out. A lot of these guys, a, a lot of you guys like cheddar cheese, right? So there was a company, it's called Tillamook. You can find it a lot of places and get it in the big block. Generally, you know, we would do that because when you would read before, they made it with animal rennet. Okay, the, the cheddar that they that they sold the white cheddar, and uh, I go and I'm looking at it, and when Where's you're reading list? it, I can I can find it. Oh, I don't mean the further. Did you write it down? Up. No, your list of all the good cheeses places. I wrote. I just told them. I know, but they want to see. Oh, it. you can't see it. You're not going to read you're it. Chicken scratch. <laughs> no, you can't even read that. You'll never read it in a million years. She won't even let me try to like. I'll go read over. It. You won't even be able to see it. <laughs> so the Tillamook. All those, they had a whole list of the cheddar cheeses, the sharp cheddar, and they were all used the animal rennet. And just recently, they changed them all so that they are totally all vegetarian. Definitely, Western Price would have maybe some of this information. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. Yes. So. That's um, like the best $40 you'll ever find. Yes. So, I was like, oh my gosh. But see, that's the thing. A lot of this stuff that I was doing and friends of mine have been doing and you did your research on. Then all of a sudden they change. Just like many years ago, things would have cane sugar in it, and then they change it to high fructose corn syrup. Right. That's so, the trick, y'all, because, you know, we're a little bit older, 50s, 60s, 40s, 30s. Well, 30s probably, but 40s. So the food that we ate even coming up at maybe even McDonald's and stuff, they had better ingredients, not as much as chemicals. And then there was a flip in there where they went strictly all chemicals, and they're trying to literally scientifically design and make our food and that is not what my scriptures <laughs> my scriptures do not say the scientists shall make chemicals and then make you some food for sustenance my scripture says i will give you the seed bearing plant which man now is making fruit bearing zero seeds you see how that is so i just want you guys to be aware of this stuff man and and read those labels that's the main thing so let's also look at you know, a lot of people are having allergies to cheeses. The Talamook isn't bad, right? The Talamook's okay? No, it is now. It is. It is bad it's now. It's all made. It's all made with... It, it, dang! Don't watch our show if you don't want to have a bubble bust. <laughs> well, it's made It's made now. They've changed it into the microbial. So, I have not... You can go and you can find... Here, let me see what We're I We're saying enzymes are good, but not... Those enzymes, like they're chemically. But made. no, no, it depends because if it just says enzymes on it, I'm just going to say generally, the majority of the time, if it just says enzymes on your cheese, it's made with animal rennet. And that's good. But check whatever brand you have, just check to be sure. But what I was what I was researching, it did say enzymes. The father gave you the rennet naturally. That's just the fact. So you get it from the animal, and if you get it outside of that, they start adding the chemicals together for you so you can have it outside of the natural. Don't you guys see everything against the natural right now? I mean, right before our very eyes. It's so really something else. Here's what Tillamook says. Um, the rennet is used, and it tells what it does is coagulates the milk. Uh Here's all the things it did, the medium sharp, the reserve, blah, blah, blah. It's going the mozzarella. It's going through all the different cheeses that they're talking about on their site. And then it says that they, we have recently transitioned to exclusively use the fermentation produced vegetarian friendly rennet. The fermentation. So I think that's the one that you're talking about, which is the genetically modified one yeah. from Pfizer. Yeah. Please note that while we've already begun making our aged white cheddars with the veggie friendly rennet, these cheeses are naturally aged anywhere from 60 days to three years. So all those Tillamook cheeses are using that yucky stuff now. So no more Tillamook for me, which is sad, but yeah. So we, so have we got on the phone and we called our friends and we told them it's the cheese. So let's look at you know the toxicity from a lot of this stuff this gmo stuff 
the allergies, <coughs> the digestive issues, it could cause respiratory issues, stomach upset, you get runny nose, mucus, you're thinking it's a cheese, and it could be this stuff that you're putting in your body. It also disrupts your gut microbiome. So we want to get as pure as we can. Like we say, you know, if you have a cow, you can make your own cheese from raw milk or you have a place you can get raw milk and make cheese. It's very simple. You know, you just use some acid medium, lemon juice or vinegar. You can make cheese very simply. You can do it. Um, maybe you might want to try doing that. Uh, the one thing that's kind of interesting is if you do shop at Whole Foods, they do have little signs or you can ask their little attendant. They have a cheese person there. They'll tell you what kind of rent it is in it, and if they don't know, they will check for you. And also, Trader Joe's is pretty good. They have a very wide selection of cheese, and the people that work at Trader Joe's are very knowledgeable about their cheeses, and they can also tell you, too, if you shop there. And you can also ask Google, of all people. Like, sometimes if you just take your phone in with you, you could probably ask on the phone the brand of cheese or whatever. However, to get around like that. I'm going to tell you, you have to look at a couple, look at a couple different places yeah. on Google because what's happening they hide is... It. Things, they used to be animal rennet, just like the Tillamook, because like when I first looked at the Tillamook, it, looked, it said, oh, these are the ones that are still good with the animal rennet, but then they've just recently changed. So you're going to have to look and double look again. But if you do shop at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, it's going to be a little easier. But you can go, I'm just telling you, Aldi's has a great assortment of cheeses, very wonderful yeah. cheeses that you just can read. Just read the labels, y'all, and share like it, Florida said, boss. These are good. Car. Car Valley cheeses. Yeah. That this is a good one too. Sherry Florida Boss, go ahead and just join. If you guys want to join the Weston A Price Foundation, Doug and Stacy, 100% vet them, 100% stand behind them. Love the work that they do. We don't make a dime from those folks. But when you do sign up tonight for the whole $30 or $40 it is, when they really send you a lot of information, especially on where to buy good food. Just tell them that Doug and Stacy Doug and Stacy sent you there, right? I'll get you a link for you here, and then uh, you know at least they know that we're spreading the good news. I'm gonna put it there on the link. These are folks that are serious about getting you the serious health information news. They like us took a lot of heat over this last go round several years ago. And they stuck to their guns, and I, I respect them for that. And they're good folks over there. Right? Yep, they do. They, they're trying to look at your food security, looking and take care of, it, of you, looking at the labels and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm getting ready to drop the link for you guys right now. I should put them on our website. I love those people. And you guys use this link, and then just let them know when you sign up that you saw it at Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Dot com. There's 5,000 folks in the in the place here. We're a little slow on the thumbs up. Can y'all give us a thumbs up if you don't mind? It's like giving us a virtual hug. Plus, full disclosure, give us a thumbs up for giving you guys all the information so you can start weeding out of stuff that could be making you sick as you're actually even paying for it. You're, you're, you're going to work and you're spending time away from your family Busting hump, you take your money to the store, you think, man, I'm going to the store, I'm going to turn this money into food, to nourishment, to sustenance. You go in there and you think because it's at the store that it's good for you, we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, and then you start eating it and it's making you sick. And then you got to go to Big Pharma, and then they got to give you more pills, and they're getting you coming and going. Holy smokes. Are there any good non-dairy cheese substitutes for dairy allergies just say no <laughs> i don't know have you ever a lot of people do well with dairy allergies doing goat goat or sheep sheep i don't know you know have you ever tried that before too i cut dairy out totally i we use a little bit of cheese she's going to talk about how you can shred your own cheese imagine that. so then when you find a cheese that's good that you like you know gouda or you know you can also a lot of these different cheeses like the emmenhaller the guerre you know, some of those you can get them in, in uh, cheese and then shred them. Don't buy them already shredded because they put cellulose, which is wood pulp. So, And that's what's going to bulk it up. If you shred it yourself, you're going to get so much more and you don't have to be eating wood pulp. So just know that I know everything, you know, it makes it easier because it's already shredded, but it'll work your arm. You know, you'll get a little workout, you know, and just shred your own cheese. So that's another it's so way to simple. do it. so simple. We do it on the road. She brings block cheese with us when we go. Uh, 
it's just good. So, like, if you were reading the labels, what do you, what do you, what is going to stand out? Like, tell them what to look for so, exactly. When, when you, when you read the labels, it should just say you have those two one? things: milk, it salt. It just no, they're all, well, yeah, hold on. So it should just say milk, salt, and then like enzymes. And generally, like I'm saying, the enzymes will be okay. But if it's going to say vegetarian, it's probably fed with soy or that new one, right? Yeah, the chemical Pfizer one. Yes. The F, F, what is it? F, I keep forgetting. FPO? F2 Pfizer. What is it called? Why do I keep forgetting it? FPC. FPC, yeah, you know me. But they're calling it, what they call it in the thing? Did it say? What did it say? I had it on a piece of paper and it just ran away. It was in the beginning of the video. No, I didn't even, I don't know what happened to that sheet of paper. What? What, the, the last one. You want to see the actual article? Yeah, that's what I want to see. All right. Show me the article that changed my world today, huh? Man, y'all it messed her up. Well, luckily, you know, if you look at some of these cheeses, like your your goat cheese um, and feta cheese, generally, the, you know, they're going to be a little bit better. I always like to get my stuff in a brine. Um, the soft cheese like that, generally, you're going to be okay, but just look at your labels. Oh, Did you, you had the it? article. Oh, here, give it to me. Yeah, I'm trying to find the article it. on your thing. I have it. Point. Okay. Let's read. But while she's show. waiting, <laughs> let's check out some plastic cheese that we used to buy at the store, right? Hold on, is that going to show you? Rice is mixed with plastic bits to increase manufacturing. See that? That's the plastic. That's how much plastic they put in your sliced cheese. Holy smokes, y'all! Look at that. Watch what they're doing here. They're showing you how much plastics gets put into that cheese. There it is, zippity dip. There's all the stuff that goes into it. Bake that plastic. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is terrible. Please don't feed this stuff to your kids. It's gonna hurt them, you know, mentally develop. Oh, that's oh, that's some fake meat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but I wanted to show you guys. Where's it at now? Oh, here he is. Hope you guys are learning some stuff. That's the main thing. Quality rations. Don't be fooled by American pasteurized prepared cheese products like this that are not even real cheese, that are full of other additives, preservatives, and microplastics. This does not belong in your cabinets or on any grilled cheese or hamburgers you are making. Save your grandkids, boomers. American cheese isn't even real cheese the fda won't even let this be labeled as cheese because it contains less than 50 percent of pressed milk curds in order for something to be labeled as cheese it has to contain at least 50 percent cheese to make matters worse my buddy andrew huberman sent me some interesting resources showing how significant the amounts of microplastics are in this fake cheese looking at this pasteurized prepared cheese product under the microscope you start to understand why this is not even real cheese this is full of microplastics because it is so highly processed. We don't fully understand the problems that can occur in human bodies as we accumulate microplastics from our environment, but animal research clearly suggests these are not benign. If you want to feed your kids cheese, choose a good quality raw cheese. Don't be fooled by American pasteurized prepared cheese. Oh products. my gosh, y'all craft and all that. Oh my gosh. So you look at like your Velveeta, your Kraft Singles, those are all, oh. they're less than, it was like, if it says, they call it like a food, a cheese source or something, if, if it's under 51%, but like uh, Parmesan cheese, there's Kraft Parmesan cheese, you know, that's loaded in the cellulose, as well as you look at the Cheese Whiz, you know, that you spray on your crackers, how many people do that or have done that before? So I was, I, I was reading on the um, Cheese Whiz, and also the easy cheese, the spray, they put canola oil, maltodextrin, milk protein concentrate, sodium phosphate. I mean, so, so terrible. They put all, it's a chemical cocktail that you're thinking you're having cheese and it's just terrible for you. So stay away from that. But most of you guys are smarter than that, right? I hope so. But Please the thing don't is, feed your just, kids this stuff. We just the want you. The and the plastics and the, man, it's messing them up so bad. So just look at your cheeses and you want the ones that are with the enzymes or your your uh you know the animal rennet you can go online pick the cheeses that you have try Kerry to see Gold, do they make cheese 
Oh gosh, yeah. That's well, here, sweet. actually, wait. Maybe I have my label. I have a good one here. Maybe I Man, if you guys are following me on Twitter, you guys should be over there on X. Shut the door now. It's going to be. Be over there on X. It's uh, D at Doug and Stacy. You guys can follow me there. We've already been canceled over there. It's supposed to be the free speech platform. <laughs> Don't believe it. Okay. So. Well, come check us out over there. I got a lot of great information over there. Here is a Kerrygold Reserve Cheddar. Okay. And I'll read the ingredients. It's got the milk, cheese, cultures, and enzymes. So, this is a product of Ireland. And I'm wondering, I need, I should check on that. It says cheese cultures and enzymes. So, it says generally the enzymes. I might be okay with if this it one. It just says enzymes. So, I'm, I need to check on this. I kind of feel good about this. <laughs> I hope so. So, we'll see. But yeah, Kerrygold, like those were all really good ones. Well, now, what happened when I told her about this article and then she started really digging in about the cheese and the stuff, what'd you say? You said, what about gassy? Uh, no, uh, we already talked about it. Yeah, I said a lot of times people get mucusy. You say and, about you. You said you did. Oh, sometimes like you'll go and you'll eat has a cheese and sometimes it's like, how come when I eat this cheese, I get very mucusy and then sometimes I don't. That's probably what it is. Yeah. For me. Because I remember you said that right after I was hipping you. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. Well, I will look it up later. Thank you all. Dang. Dang, dang. Diggy, dang, dang. Shiga, bang, dang. You guys are really going to have to get engaged with your life. Right? You get one shot at this stuff. And if you take life casually, sadly enough, you're going to end up a casualty. This is where it all really matters, right? The good old days are pretty much gone. Population control seems to be the flavor of the day. And they want you to volunteer yourself out of here. And I'm not doing it. Like I got a you know contract for 110 years that I'm supposed to be here doing the good work. And I believe it's true, right? But I'm not gonna volunteer our bodies for this anymore. Stacy and I left the city 15 years ago, we were just like you guys, right? We were like lethargic, bloaty, over. They're not like that. I mean, I'm just smart saying, people. I was, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just telling you guys, we're feeling too hot. Stacy's not feeling too hot. We're eating the regular food. We thought we were eating good too. We started to eat a little better. Then she started finding out more stuff. It's a constant learning thing, but just the facts are that the input that you put into your body is really going to determine a lot. Like, it is really going to set the stage for your health and your happiness, especially as you age. Those are just the truths. So you really, really have to be vigilant now. So here's the time. With the ingredients. We always talk about this. This is the time that we need to get so micro and support our Big local time. community, our local farmers. If you're living in the apartment in the middle of a little city, you could go out a little farther and you can, there are so many people having farmer's markets now. When you're in the farmer's markets, you can ask these farmers, you know, if they do have a co-op, if they, if, or, or if it's just one little farmer and say, I'd really be interested in them getting this from you weekly and blah, 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 and start doing this. A lot of these people make homemade cheeses from their their animals if they have cows or sheep or if they have goats and then that way you're getting it fresh from the farm it doesn't travel very far you know where it's coming from and we have to support our local communities because who knows what's you have no clue what is going in your bodies i mean it's just disgusting all these endocrine disruptors that's going in all these chemicals i mean we're just a big science experiment it's terrible so it's so important that you know Beautiful. and then i was talking to him we're driving and it's like okay you know we were having the Tillamook. We, you know, we've had it. We were doing some of this stuff that had some of this vegetarian. Maybe we're having the soy. Who knows? But look at these children that are eating this cheese. What's going to happen to them? So they we need to take. Children. We have to take charge of our health. We have to take charge, and we have to really be diligent about what's going on. A lot of us are just like, oh, I don't care. It's easier just to do this. You know, you have to step and take that extra step, and you need to grate your cheese. You know, you have to do this. The health of your family and yourself is so important. So Whoa. you have to do your research, you know. I mean, just look and see. It, it is easy. You just have to, on the Google, you can just ask a few questions, and you can find out what you want. And if not, 
There's always a phone number. Call the company and they will be glad to talk to you. Kind of. Hopefully. <laughs> but they'll tell you what kind of rent it is in it. Maybe. But generally, you know, someone was just saying in, like goat cheese, like some of the goat cheese, I like goat cheese and some of them will say, you know, the microbial one and then they feed the microbial enzymes with soy, usually. But if you want to go further, maybe contact the company, email them or whatever and say, hey, what do you feed? <laughs> See if they find out and they may not know, but then they can check into it and get back with you. So if there's something that you're eating every single day, no, that's going inside of you. Or no, maybe if you have someone in your family that loves cheese, but they're kind of mucousy or they have asthma and all that, maybe it's from this. It could be from that. Maybe change the kind of cheese that you're doing, but hard cheeses are definitely good. And I'll totally rock, and I am all into Manchego cheese is the best. I love Manchego. And I just eat whatever she gives me. He likes Manchego, too. <laughs> yes. But y'all, you have to read those ingredients. Now, you wives out there, <laughs> if you're responsible for your little family and all their food, man, this is on you, right? Like, you really got to get engaged out there. Let's not be lazy in this department because it's changing your insides. You know what I'm saying? Like, your molecules, your body. You guys are hearing those stories coming out about the glyphosates and the Cheerios and all the breakfast cereals. That stuff is made to change your insides. Oh, my gosh. Don't get me going, please. <laughs> yes, uh, armed in AK. Is it armed in Alaska? Uh, contacted Tillamook online and leave a comp complaint, and I did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we want the you regular have to Reddit. Get your back. voice out there too, right? Make your voices heard, like, and use your money, like, use your money as a tool as well. You know what I mean? Like, don't shop at the places that cause problems. And if you do have to go there because maybe it's the only place around you, go there as minimal as possible. Because I get it. I mean, some, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. EWG is a good resource for food we buy. I have to tell you, here's another one. They've really we, stepped we, it up. We talk about Weston Price. We love them. I Go and sign up at EWG, environmentalworkinggroup.org. On their email list, every single day, I will get an alert. I will get a notification. I will get something, and it will tell you about the best water filters. It's going to tell you about the best, you know, dirty dozen on your, um, you know, produce that you're going to get. And it's going to go through cosmetics. It goes through everything, and it keeps you up to date with all these different things. I think it's amazing. And the cool thing about it, you, they'll, like, link different videos. They have, you know, different doctors that are in charge of different things like there's the girl in charge of the water and then the produce and uh the different chemicals they're putting on a lot of the uh things that we're getting um out of the produce and they'll talk and it's so wonderful and i highly 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 recommend that you get on to their website ewg.org it is a wonderful resource e -W -G. That will w -G. G. and it is definitely definitely a great great resource and i I mean, Y'all, we are trying to give you work. all the tools. We're giving you all the tools. We're giving you the information. We dig, 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 dig. People missed, like I said in the video today, if you missed it, they're trying to, they're, in UK, they're already registering backyard chickens. Even if you have two or one as a pet in the UK. I told you what happens in the UK. Bleeds over here. Hit that thumbs up. Full disclosure, there's 3,500 thumbs up. And we have about 5,000 people hanging out with us right now. That will really help out a lot with the video, get the people out there. It helps with the AI, guys. Yeah, see, okay, so here, Patty Bell says, shredded cheese also contains nanomycin, which is a prescription oh, job. Oh, so I was going to do the nanomycin drop, too. And that's in a lot of the shredded cheeses, too. Um, and then Pfizer again. And then Lavender Linen says, uh, the natural grocer's cheddar that I've been buying uses vegetable rennet. Yeah. <laughs> But see, a lot of these people are catering toward a lot of these vegans. Yes. And they are wanting, you know. That's why they tricked everybody to become vegan. So they could slip in all the chemicals <laughs> on you guys that have you eating the bugs. So here's the thing, which is so funny, is everyone was going to find out uh, vegan sources of cheeses, you know. Um, and so that's why everyone has, these companies have got such a backlash from all the people that they went and they caved in and they went with the veg, veg, vegetarian type um, rennet. 
Well, now all of us need to go to the companies and tell them we want the animal <laughs> rennet back because it makes the product taste better. Y'all, we and want we the were, natural rennet. We were talking about, also, I uh, was talking to our, my friend Tia, and we were saying how when you shred it, it's even softer. It's different than it used to be, like, and it's not lasting quite as long. Right. And it's probably because of that when they switched over. So, you know, contact these companies and tell them, hey, you know. And the other company that I really liked before was Cabot, made from Vermont. And they, they have the vegetarian rennet too, I think. So. One thing I can tell you is there's nothing added, no soy, no nothing in our 100% beeswax candles that purify, a.k.a. detox, your air that you breathe. Also, we've had reports that folks that have cat allergies, if they spend the night like somewhere, if they light the little candle, they don't suffer as much from the allergies. Also, we had a report from some asthma folks that helped that said it helped them breathe better. So help purify your air, 100% unrefined beeswax candles that our family pours for you. And we sell them right to you. And we're working on some emergency candles right now. They look like a big crayon. You guys are going to love those. I'll have those when we get back home. I'll have them up for you guys. They're going to be great for having around the house. You can throw them in a drawer. And if the lights go out on you, boom, you can drop that candle on. It's going to burn a long time and give you some good light. All right. What you got for them, Stacey? We're Nothing 40 I'm minutes just in. I'm just reading everyone's. Um, yeah. Share Vince is on a zero site. Wow. So many say vegetarian enzymes, etc. Yeah. Yeah, we wait. We woke you guys up. Now, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Because <laughs> they were saying on it when on the cheeses, if it just says enzymes, just assume that it's probably going to be the animal enzymes. And y'all, what does the scripture say? The scripture says it's better that you never heard it than if you are to hear it and then turn your ear from it. Man, there's so much wisdom in there, isn't there? Holy smokes! All right, here we go. Gone for five minutes. Mel Melody had a bathroom break. break. <laughs> Melody Scammon. <laughs> bathroom break. What are the food advocates? Who you call? Man, I don't know. That It's like nobody's on your side, y'all. We got a uniparty going on, right? They're selecting who they want elected, right? They act like they're fighting with Trump. So I don't know if it's an act or what, right? But, you know, it's just everything just seems so phony. <laughs> be honest with you so here let, let's talk about another one so here look at this one here's the organic simply nature cheddar cheese so on the back of it it's got the, the milk the cheese culture salt microbial enzymes ah. so generally they'll probably feed it with soy so this will no longer be in my refrigerator and also bioengineering is showing up on Everything. all the products now and what does that mean in my next two videos y'all i'm going to be dropping My goodness they're gonna be food videos so don't be you know don't eat before you watch them but they're gonna be i got a couple videos coming i hope i don't get banned off of youtube but the next two videos are gonna be pretty good smacking down stuff with some nice connect the dots information for you guys thumbs up if you like that kind of stuff soylent green don't get me started <laughs> don't get me started man we are li literally living in soil and green times, I'm telling you. <clears throat> Shoo. Tuesday is soil and green day. Shut you up. Is it really? No, it's not. It can't be. There's no such thing as that. That's disgusting. All right. Yeah, so Dan, a lot of people, you're going to find a lot of your cheeses now, they all say microbial enzymes. <clears throat> it's a whole new world. And I was looking. I always. I think we ate all our our manchego cheese. I thought I had some in there. I was going to. No I was going to show you. I just work here. Maybe. Man, you guys, we wanted to get right into this information to provide you guys with it. Uh, Forty-four minutes of non-stop links, people, places to go to, what cheeses to look out for, micro, you know, enzymes. I mean. All within the first little bit, we didn't waste anybody's time, and we just want you guys to have the information. Now we're going to waste time, hang out for a little bit, answer your questions, talk about our lifestyle. I don't know why states are passing 
these dumb bills, right, that are actually banning chemtrails and spraying aerosols when that doesn't even exist. I cannot even imagine that they would waste their time banning things that don't exist, like spraying aerosols in the sky over Tennessee. More on that later. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. We are, it's Gaslight Central. <clears throat> Gaslight Central. Yeah, uh, and then all this stuff, you know, you wonder why so many people are getting sick. You know, you're trying to eat as clean as you can, but you really have to watch out. So, I mean, I'm just So, saying. Charlene Sage Grover wants to clarify. She's confused. Veggie enzymes are not good for you? The vegetarian, those are the ones that probably are fed with soy. So, soy is genetically modified. So, that would not be a good choice. I, the ones, this is what I'm thinking right now. I mean, this is kind of what I've researched. When you read your label and it just says enzymes, you know, like sheep's milk, salt, and enzymes, that's going to be the animal enzymes or the an animal type rennet. So, I think that would be a good one. But if it's going to specify and it says it's the vegetable one, then it's going to be probably fed yeah. with soy. Moments divine, you're right. Boomers are not living as long as their parents. And your generation, if that's what you are, the next one down, your lifespan's cut in half. We see it every day, 30, 40-year-olds flopping head all over the place. So, yeah, that's the whole goal, isn't it? Depopulate. Oop, did I say it? I said the quiet part out loud. I want my free speech, right? I don't want to be monitored. I don't want to be self. What do they call that? Self. Uh, I'm not paying attention to you, so I don't know. What do you do when you... Self-regulate? You're getting warmer. I don't know. But basically, like, you, you shut yourself up because you're so worried about what other people think about it. You know what I mean? We got to speak what's on our mind and we have to start getting loud. I mean, it's just, if, if we don't cease to, if we don't start to resist, we're going to cease to exist. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Self-censored. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mallory, I'm sorry. She just says, I just bought some Tillamook cheese today. <laughs> Dang, y'all. Get some micro greens from Mallory. Go to barefootmicrogreens.com. Do yourself a favor. And get some microgreens that you can grow right on There's your There's no microplastics in them. They're no getting micro good, fresh plastics. vegetables. And that's yes. when you get the most benefits from your food is when it's growing and busting out of that seed. That's why the sprouts are so good for you. And you can get them at barefootmicrogreens.com. Maybe she can make a few bucks, help replace that cheese, some cheese since we just messed that all up for them. Yeah, and then seriously, a lot of this stuff, I know a lot of you guys are out there doing your research, reading your labels and stuff that you get. You're like, oh, I finally found one. And then you go back, and like he was saying earlier, then it starts to say it has bioengineered foods on the back of it now. So you really have to go, like, I was talking to some of my friends, you know, we go shopping, I know what I get all the time that's good and clean, and then all of a sudden you go look at the label and you're like, darn, they put something into it bad again. And they ruin it. So the thing is, is as basic as we can eat and we can grow in our garden or get from the farmer's market, your basic fruits and vegetables, your potatoes, your meat, if you're more of a keto person or carnivore, your the meats that you're, you're growing or you're getting from a local farmer, that's where we have to go and quit getting a lot of this other junk and oils and all this kind of stuff like that. It's just, it's just you know, terrible. And I'm, then you may notice you're going to start losing weight. You're feeling better. I'm going to tell you guys something like right now, right? Like we're traveling. Okay. We just went all the way down to Florida and we're on our way back up home to Missouri and we are watching people and it's, it's kind of bad news out there, man. Like a lot of these kids now, they got their cell phones glued to their, they put them in their pocket or in the small of their back or in their front pocket. If you have grandkids, please try to express to them how dangerous that is. And if you want to have grandkids, please tell your kids <laughs> how dangerous that is, man. You're there. Go look this stuff up. There's, you know, you can find the information out. And we're also just seeing how people eat. It's just, because, we you know, we're on the farm a lot. <laughs> in our little town, there's only a couple people in there. <laughs> and so when we get out here to the masses, and I will tell you, 
without a shadow of a single doubt, that while we were down there in the Keys in that 5G, I felt like my head was going to explode. And as farther that we get up the coast, it seems like it's not as intense. Oh, it was terrible, yeah. And I'm just telling you, that's an observation. And I was also, while we were there, we were seeing how the, um, the fish are coming up, swimming in circles, a lot of problems with the fish that they never really had before. And then they were saying down in the Keys is also that the fish... The salt water isn't as strong, as salty as, salty as yeah. it used to be. And Stacy was saying that she thinks that they have more 5G turned on than last year we went. So she finished her book last year. She wrote a remedy book for you guys and finished it there last year. So this year when we went, it was going to be like, you know, this time where we actually just hung out and just enjoyed each other's company. No books, no nothing. And that's what we did. And. We were just finding out all this information and she was saying she feels the more pressure, the more 5G towers are up. And then we started thinking about with the sprays, right? And then the 5G and then in the water and then the salt content. I mean, does all this stuff start making a problem? Yeah, because they're talking all in the keys about these fish that are just spinning around and then they die. Amos Miller actually won his case. I, From what I heard, I believe that he's able to go back to his same old practices you have to go do your own homework on that but i think i caught a little something out of the corner of my ear where there was like some kind of a little junky junk going on and they were making him get a milk license which would prevent him from doing all the other stuff and then basically they just backed off and i think he can do basically what he was doing before so you guys got to look into that yourself um and that's what i got for you on that one and then dan he says and tofu what about tofu to eat to tofu? No. Well, I don't. I don't. We don't, I don't eat. I it. don't do any. The only soy that I do is fermented soy. Yeah, we don't like soy. So miso, natto, um, miso, some stuff like that. Fermented soy is the only thing that I'll do. But Danny was saying you you can also the um, the vegetarian rennet. You can make it. They make it like from fig bark, and then she was saying from stinging nettle. You can do it from nettle too. The thing with the vegetarian rennet is it gives the cheese a little, little bit more of a bitter taste and I don't think it lasts quite as long. So a lot of times it might say that on there, but a lot of times generally if they sell it, it might be the microbial rennet. Is, but you can make homemade, you can do it and there's stuff online on how to make um, rennet from stinging nettle or like from fig bark. I know you can do that. So if some of you guys want to do that, you could definitely do that also. Okay. Yes, a lot of people are saying, oops, microbial enzymes are GMO because they're fed the soy. Yes, we have to be little detectives. Does anybody remember Remember that there's so many good detectives, the streets of San Francisco, and remember uh, Kojak, <laughs> Telly Savalas, and Columbo? I'm more like a Starsky and Hutch. Star uh, well, I'm getting to this. That's you're a little older than me, Starsky remember? Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> I like, like my girls detectives. a little bit older. <laughs> all right you guys we loved hanging out with you guys we got one hour in with you guys we gave you a ton of information that you can share with your friends everyone's crying over their telemuck <laughs> i'm so sorry i mean we just want you guys to have the best information because i mean honestly we we believe that the food could be janking you right so so yeah carrie says telemuck hasn't been local for over 10 years i'm from oregon so interesting Yes, Denise says Manchego is the best. Love Manchego. It is good. And you can find that pretty much anywhere. How do you spell the cheese I like? M-A-N-C-H-E-G-O. Manchego. Jessica says she's looking on the web website. I don't know. Well, I'm trying to what, she want? what I found, the, their little thing. Uh, All right, I'm dropping the link on there so you guys can pick up your candles. You can get Stacy's Remedy book. We're on the way out, so this is your commercial. You guys didn't have any commercials during the video tonight. And there have been commercials popping up on the videos. I'm looking into it. We've been four or five months demonetized from telling the truth. And so I don't know what's going on. But just hang in there. It could be the good news. Maybe I've been doing such a good boy thing. <laughs> or uh, they're just, you know, slipping them in and keeping that 
monetization money for them and that's fine whatever i'm just glad to have a platform to be able to share with you guys and if you want to stay in touch get on our email list uh at our website offgridwithdougandstacy.com also if you didn't know we have a university where we are going to be populating that with a lot of relevant information this year you know we're still cold at home uh, so we're going to have new videos, all relevant information coming out. And plus, we have Wednesday night, every night at 7.30 p.m. We hang out with you guys and we talk about, like, some really cool stuff. We make things. Uh, we try to break you free from toothpaste with fluoride in it, with warning labels that say contact poison control. You know, stuff like that. And the university is just a blast. We have a lot of good times there. And it's... Uh, a great learning tool actually i have some big videos up right now on how to make a swarm box because we're rolling into bee time so you guys can capture your swarms instead of buying them so you're not feeding them sugar water and all this stuff that's making them sick man it's amazing how all this stuff works what about the eclipse over your home it won't be over our home we're supposed to have one tonight is are it? we having a solar eclipse tonight are we not tonight. it's sunday is it now no. is it tell me you guys is it? Is it? What are they saying? Yeah, you can find Manchego cheese, you guys, everywhere, pretty much. I know they have it at Aldi's. They have it at most all grocery stores. Lunar eclipse tonight. Lunar. Yeah. yeah. Lunar's tonight, and then solar's April the 8th. Yeah, and April the 8th, Congress is convening. <laughs> Remember, they got their satellite phones. That's when this eclipse is supposed to come through. Did you guys know that this week, this has been a crazy week for us too while we've been traveling. A, I was on the Alex Jones show. That was crazy. The Alex Jones show, they had a clip of me talking about the eclipse and everything. That was kind of crazy. Then, yesterday, I'm on Newsweek. They actually fact-checked the article. And because I bring you... Your just, video. Yeah, just because I bring you the facts, they fact-checked it. And it was proven to be true. They did put a spin on it, however, saying, well, these scientists are there because whatever. But they are there, so the, it was totally true, right? <laughs> so Newsweek actually fact-checked our article, and I was on Alex Jones. Dang, y'all. we got to be over the target. <laughs> I saw you on Alex Jones, he says. Oop says. That was crazy, man. And you guys, thank you for all the emails and information you try to yeah, share with awesome. me. I maybe don't respond to them, but I try to keep an eye on them. And I really appreciate all the heads up. If you guys see my content being used somewhere, I'm always getting a little heads up. And I really do appreciate that stuff. All right. We couldn't do all any of this. Nothing is possible, uh, A, without the most high. We've been walking faithfully and, and following, you know, faithfully, you know, for 15 years, more than that, almost like 20 something years, man. We made a big decision that we were going to do it no matter what. And we have been doing it no matter what. And this is where we are. So you guys have seen the fruit of everything that we've done. If you guys go back and watch our videos, we have 1500 videos. You can go to our videos tab and then you click videos and then you can go to the oldest to newest and you can watch us grow. Man, it's really something to see. For 15 years on our homestead, literally, and watch the progression and as we learn and what we share with you guys, it's phenomenal. I'm so glad that I was, so sometime there I was making videos every single day. So I'm so glad I documented our whole journey from that one little log cabin, that's all you saw was the big barn and the log cabin in our little driveway to the 11 acre homestead that we built and in this time it's been fantastic so between now and mom's doing awesome she loves her log cabin. yes between now and next week let's see how many people can make their own cheese it's really easy to make mozzarella cheese and you guys can google how to make it it's so simple you can do it with vinegar very very easy if you can find some get some raw milk especially or maybe some you know not like just like low vat pasteurized or non-homogenized milk and try to make some cheese it's very very simple and you'll be shocked and it's so great so try and see you know or maybe making some cottage cheese try to do some of these things making homemade yogurt 
now's the time to start educating yourself, knowing some of these things, you know, that we're buying that are good. They're fermented. Cheese is fermented. Yogurt's fermented. These things are good for us, you know, if you're okay and being able to tolerate it. Um, and learn how to do it. Organic always, Valley has veggie enzymes. I know a lot of these places, a lot of the organic, I know, man, a lot we just of the organic your products, bubbles, I'm telling you. <laughs> because there, everyone wants to make it good for everybody. Right. And so, they're in bed together. I don't know why you guys can't figure it out. They're in bed together. The FDA, Food and Drug Administration, with the Food and Drugs, with the Drugs in Your Food Administration. <laughs> So, you know, you guys, you know, we'll just That's bring in the information. You guys can, you know, do your research, do what you want with it. And, uh, you know, I just say, you know, every day we're trying to learn something new, make ourselves healthier. Or if you're wondering why you're feeling this way or that way, it could be something that you thought was good for you. It's got something in it that's not making you good. So we want to eat as clean as we can. All these different chemical cocktails that we're putting in our body, it's harder and harder for our bodies to get rid of. So eating as clean as we can, you know, good old fashioned grass fed butter, good meats. Um, these things are all good for us. And if we do also look at a lot of the European cheeses, they're still pretty good. Um, but you're just going to have to do your research. You know, a lot of these, uh, cheese, you know, just like the foods over there in Europe, you know, they can't have a lot of these colors and dyes and artificial flavors and a lot of these things that we can have here. So uh, a lot of the stuff that we get from Europe generally is better, but that's changing too because they're starting to kind of go the other way. This but, is this is why we lost the food battle too. Remember when all the mRNA stuff started coming out? We started, uh, Missouri actually even went to the hoops to try to get the labeling on it. Uh, that one lawyer guy, Tom Wren, he went to bat for it too and it got blown off. <laughs> So they don't want you to know what's in the food, y'all. They want to come up with these, you know, as soon as you started catching on to, uh, you know, the name of something, they switch it. Natural flavors. What was it? Why not? Like, what did they switch? Like, it was like, for a long time, it was something on the label, and then they switched it. Was it natural flavors? It was like, the, the food manufacturers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they play these games with you guys. Okay? Like, well, it was MSG. Like I, yeah, and then they took that off because everybody was getting hip to MSG. So then they put on natural flavors. And or yeast the, extract. On the syrup that I showed you guys, instead of it just being syrup, it says breakfast syrup, right? So they're just all the time just trying to catch you off your game, trying to trick you into making a voluntary decision to end up living a shorter life. <laughs> all right, we're going to blow out. That's been a great uh, one-hour session, you guys. We love you guys. We'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys stop in. Get a nice candle to purify your air. 100% beeswax. No soy additives. And uh, poured by our family. Hand poured. Oh, and we have the, well, we have the, those The emergency ones. candles are coming out. They'll yeah, they're really cool. They look like a great big crayon. Yeah. As soon as they're I get really home. really cool. I thought those would be really cool for you guys. So I, I said we'd make those. And I got the mold and everything. And they really are turning out cool. And they're just like a good one big fat candle. You could take camping with you. Or you could put it in a drawer in case the lights go out. Or rolling blackouts. Or EMPs. Or whatever like that. So make sure you guys check and that out. And the funny thing is, is we started making the candles. And I'm like, oh, you know, most people like the little smaller pilars. People aren't going to like the nine inch pilars. And those are the ones. And we didn't make as many of those. And so those are like everyone's favorite. They like the six inch ones and the nine inch. And they inch thought ones. nobody would get the nine yeah, inch. Yeah, so now we're starting like, to make nobody more gets of those. The nine inch. But they are cool. We sell out of those all the time. Yeah. Holy smokes. We only got like four candles. Okay, so we're getting pretty pretty down on the candles, you guys. You know, and just remember, we have to make them to put them in stock. We don't like buy them from nowhere. We literally melt the wax, put it in there, and the whole nine. Put a lot of love in each one. Yep, herbal stitches are in stock. The rest and digest tea, which helps you sleep at night after you eat. We have just a lot of good stuff there. It's all nature's ingredients to help you live your best life, and we're just no in vegetarian charge of it. enzymes or GMO. Yeah, we're in charge <laughs> of it, so you guys can rest assured, man. We are taking care of it over there for you guys. We will not be adding anything. Wood pulp. You guys are okay with that? <laughs> it's amazing. All right. See you guys on the next video.
Yes, and it, if you guys do any like little research between now and next week, and you come up with anything about your cheeses, let us know next week. Too. Yeah, next week too. It's Sunday, yeah. seven p.m. Central Standard Time. Let us know if you actually made some cheese and how it turned out. We'll have that as a little Q and A next week. We'll have some more great information for you guys on that. Oh, Mary wants to talk about the Homestead Conference in May. Okay, let's talk about the Homestead Real Conference quick in May. We, go. we have a Homesteading Life Conference. Stacy and I have been this is like sixth year or seventh. Seventh. Seventh year. We were the only conference in North America to have the conference during COVID. We were the ones. It was us. <laughs> and I love, I am so proud of that. Trust me. Okay. We were the only ones, but we hold a conference every year, the Homesteading Life Conference. We have three events this year for you guys. The first one is in May. It's going to be a great time. 17th and 18th, May 17th and 18th. We have some great speakers lined up. It's a family-friendly event. We have almost probably over 300 kids of, uh, signed up for this thing already. 300 kids. Great activities for them. Hands-on stuff. We'll be butchering. Uh, talking about raising food, growing food. We have experts in their field there. Me and Stacy are going to be there. We got Herbal. Dr. Jones is going to be there. Dr. Jones is going to be there. Is Stone gonna be Stone there. Is gonna we be have there. Zach Bauer from American Homestead is going to be gonna there. He's going to be there. We have uh, our naturopath friend Connie, Connie, Connie be from Wise World Botanicals. She's like world renowned with her remedies and, and herbal stuff. We got Tia and Jesse Murphy. Yeah, straight talk about shot shooting. We're going to have an actual shooting simulator so you guys can learn how to start you know being able to maybe defend yourself because when you need the police just remember they're minutes away when seconds count so we'll have a live simulator there where you'll be shooting at some targets and getting familiar with that kind of stuff or if you're an old hand it'll just be good for you kind of check it out and see how the new age stuff's going with that stuff just yeah. a lot of great information. Sourdough making, essential oils, yep. electroculture. Yep. I mean, we have lots of different things we're going to be talking about. Yep. So, and then we're going to be doing lots of like hands-on workshops on how to make this, how to make that, how to just just be self-sufficient. And if you're in the university, they're the only ones that are actually going to have, I'm going to have some type of live set up for them for some time during the event. But I can't do it for everything, so it's only for the university folks. So that's it. That's all we got for you. But the Homesteading Life Conference is going to be a really good time. It's limited seating. We're almost sold out. We're going to have food vendors. It's on flat terrain with grass and gravel. We're going to have um, no RV camping, nothing for that this year at the um, fairgrounds is where we're having it. So find your own spot, take care of yourself this year, and then once we see how this flows through there and how many people and how it all sets up, maybe next year we could offer maybe something like that or maybe tent camping or something for the families that want to save a few bucks. All right? Update on my finger. It is getting smaller every day. I mean, this thing's going to take a minute. It gets smaller every day. And you have been kind of bad about doing yeah, it. Yeah, we've been, been on the bad. Move. He's been bad about doing yes. it. Yes, microgreens, barefoot. Put microgreens.com. They are amazing. Mallory's going to be there too. Mallory so will be about, there talking yes, about, about microgreens. Micro too. Yes, she will actually. I forgot about that. So many good speakers we have a lot, for you a lot guys. Of other people. And they're just all good folks that are doing it, that want to share their information so they can help you. That's it. That's oh, we have are. stuff about cows. That's it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah cows. Yeah, we, we're cow gonna, experts. Okay, stuff about your soil. Soil yeah, experts. Our Redmond friends are going to be talking. Carson. Well, we have some there. vendors. You know, we're not really heavy on it. If you are a person who sells stuff and you like to go to this stuff and sell stuff, get a hold of me at um, homesteadinglifeconference at gmail.com. And then you can come out and sell stuff and make a few bucks. I never charge for tables there. Not a dime. We never have. Wooden spoons. Never. Wooden spoons. Stacy's looking for wooden spoon people, bowl carvers. We're looking for blacksmithers, you know, just like homesteady kind of stuff like that, you know. So just let us know what you know when you know it. Oh, what happened? Did we just go off? No, we didn't. Not until I pushed my magic buttons. All right. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Got anything else for him? No. Let's just get cheese making. The most capable hand is at the end of your wrist.